All right, we're at the Bronco Off Rodeo, round two. All right guys, so like I said, we're back at the off roadie here in Austin, Texas. I'm here with Bill Stein. We're gonna get a VIP experience to kind of see exactly what the uh, off roadie is all about with Bill Stein because that's obviously what the prompt was running. So I'm gonna do my best to show you guys exactly how this would go down for you if you decide you wanna do the Bronco off rodeo, kind of give you a first hand look and experience on some of the things and terrains you'll be driving over and of course, how they handle. So let's go do it. So this part of the ORX course, we just did the trail turn assist, basically highlighting how the, uh, you know, whatever side rear wheel would lock up to help you make an extremely sharp turn. We just went over some water, water, water forwarding, uh, basically procedures. One of the specifications, it's about 33 inches on the Bronco, which is sort of a class exclusive on how much water you can forward. So uh, one of the other awesome people that are here got to drive through some water there. And now we're going over some commands, basically on basically spotting so you know you'll notice somewhere in the back back there somebody's doing some hand gestures on spotting kind of educating people on trail uh, procedures safety stuff you know a lot of the orx course is really meant to educate maybe not as experienced people uh, when they do get their bronco or take delivery on how they would operate on a trail, how to spot, uh, how to activate different features and stuff. So that's basically what we're doing here. So trail turn assist so far, some water fording. Now we're going over some commands. And then over here, we'll go into some off camber situations, which, you know, that's fun to see the Bronco kind of teeter tottering and stuff. So let's get through that. I'm gonna video you. Uh oh. <laughs> She's starting good. <laughs> All right, we got Jackie. She's gonna be uh, first time in the Bronco, gonna do the teeter totter. And up here ahead of us, there's an extremely off-camber situation where basically the vehicle is going to be, uh, it'll feel light on opposing corners. So she's going to get to use everything that we've learned so far and get us through this obstacle. So. There, Jackie, how you feel? Sideways. Sideways? <laughs> feel like you're going to slide down a little bit? Okay, so we got Jackie inside right now. And they're going over an extremely off-camber situation. So right now she's obviously extremely leaning to one side and the reason this part of the course is here is to basically educate people on center of gravity you know if you've got components on top of the Bronco you know the amount of passengers you have inside how much weight you're carrying and whatnot so that way if you do get in a situation like this you sort of know and have an understanding on how your vehicle is going to feel so it doesn't get too tippy and flip over that's the whole thing is you want to keep the tires on the ground not you know tires side up. Right. 
So right now there's a lot of tension on this front tire and that back one. So there's some tire slippage. So she just activated the lockers, pulling her through. Now she's got tire lift. <laughs> Good job, babe. Great job, Jackie. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> that was really fun. Do you love it? Yeah, that was good. All right, here's our next Thank driver. Thank you for picking me for that. <laughs> Where's he at? Honestly, like, because I've heard everything, obviously, you've told me, I was expecting it to take care of me and me to just kind of, like, let it do its job. Yeah, so it's pretty neat. Right. <laughs> All right, so Jackie just did her first donut. That was cool. How was it? It was awesome. Right? Yeah. You killed it, babe. You killed it. Thank you. You did not just one, you did like four. I did like two. four, yeah. They were like, keep going. I was like, okay. <laughs> you should have heard all the guys inside the truck. They were just like really excited. So uh, we're almost done with the RX course. The last, por the last portion of the RX course is going to be this big monstrous hill right behind us and like a little uh, rock garden here. So basically what this will do is it will highlight uh, approach angle and breakover angles, meaning like when you come up to an obstacle, how much clearance you need between the tire and your front bumper so you don't have any damage. <sighs> Love walking. And then at the top, when you go over, break over that hill, it'll highlight the breakover angle, the Bronco, uh, and why that's important so that way you're not high centered on an obstacle if you're out somewhere on a trail. Uh, and then when they come down, same thing, your departure angle on the back of the Bronco. So, and then when we get to the rock garden, we'll go over some more spotting and proper procedure how to get through, you know, a more rockier environment so that way you're not, you know, damaging driveline components, skid plates, bumpers, stuff like that. Okay, so right here, he's activating the trail control on the Bronco, which is essentially sort of like a cruise control for your Bronco if you're in an off-road situation. Right now he had set to, to uh, one mile per hour. His feet are not on the brake or the accelerator and it is literally driving up the hill by itself. So this is adjustable, uh, you know, in small increments, obviously, you know, you don't wanna like ramp yourself off of an obstacle or something, but they're basically highlighting the trail control, how it would work going up and it will also work coming down too. So uh, here in a second, once he makes it to the top, look at the breakover angle of the Bronco with the, uh, ground clearance right there in the center of the truck ish and then we'll do the uh, trail control coming down basically like the cruise control so that way you know you can pay more attention to the obstacles ahead of you rather than playing with your accelerator again for somebody that you know maybe is not as seasoned or even people that are seasoned it's just a really cool feature to help make things a little easier or uh, you know maybe more enjoyable depending on the scenario that you're in off-road so pretty freaking wild and the trail control actually works going in reverse also not just forward so if you put it in reverse he actually didn't uh, have any uh, control over the accelerator or the brake coming down it actually does all that for you in both gears drive and reverse So this is the final and conclusive part of the Oryx course, which is basically a little mini rock garden uh, that I'm walking on right now. So what we're going to do here is we will have uh, one individual spotting, which will be Emma. 
And then we will have, I don't know who's driving, I think Nick is driving. She will be spotting him through this rock garden to make sure he doesn't bottom out, hit any sort of, you know, driveline components, skid plates, uh, and stuff like that. So that way he can safely make it through, you know, this obstacle here. Right, guys so that concludes the rx course hope you enjoyed watching that little bitty video on basically what you can expect at the off-rodeo on the first portion of the off-road x course uh, again talking about the fundamentals the you know basically the basic fundamentals of uh and principles of how the drive chain works you know different features and components when you'd activate different modes and then physically putting them to work firsthand that way everyone has a really good understanding on when you would activate stuff, how you would operate, how you'd pick a line. Uh, so that way you're a little bit more confident when we go out on the trail. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned in the next video. We are actually gonna go out and do a trail ride with the Bronco here at the Off Rodeo. So we'll see you in the next one.